electrician is playing a game of chess with a work colleague. The electrician's brain sends electrical pulses from the cerebral cortex at the back of his brain to his frontal lobes. In so doing, it indicates to the player what move he should make based on its understanding of the game that the electrician's brain has heretofore absorbed and retained. The colleague's brain performs the same electrical process as he tries to outwit the electrician. At the commencement of a game of chess, each player has 20 potential moves. According to the mathematician Claude Shannon, who outlined the so-called Shannon number in his 1950 paper, Programming a Computer for Playing Chess, after the first two moves, there are more potential outcomes in a standard game of chess than there are atoms in the observable universe. It was at the time believed that this meant a machine could never be programmed with sufficient capacity to beat a human in playing chess. Now it is understood that only a machine could calculate and recall all of these permutations, the great vastness of which are beyond human ability. At the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries, the great efforts of the German Alois Alzheimer's research in the field of neurology challenged the prevailing viewpoint on senility that it was a degenerative condition of ageing. He also contended that dementia was not a general ailment, but a specific disease or syndrome that could be classified as a progressive neurological disorder. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia and amounts to between 60 and 70% of known cases. Instances of dementia are growing rapidly in all nations. A World Health Organization report published in late 2019 stated that around 50 million people worldwide currently have dementia and that there are approximately 10 million new cases each year. Just under 60% of these cases are experienced by people who live in low or middle income countries as defined by the World Bank. The total number of people with dementia is predicted to reach 82 million cases by 2030 and 152 million cases by 2050. The WHO has published data that demonstrates that deaths due to dementia more than doubled between 2000 and 2016, making it the fifth leading cause of global deaths in 2016 compared to 14th in 2000. The significant majority of care provided to people with Alzheimer's and dementia is provided by family members and friends. There is currently no available treatment for Alzheimer's disease and nothing yet known to reduce its progressive course. Additionally, the exact cause of dementias is also unknown. While behaviour associated with a healthy diet, weight control and regular exercise has been proven to reduce risk other significant factors include social isolation and cognitive inactivity. While early onset dementia accounts for 9% of recognised cases, overwhelmingly, advanced age is the largest identified risk factor. The two areas that are currently most demonstrably affected by Alzheimer's and dementias are North America and Europe. Ironically, the first two continents joined by electrical communication. The WHO report acknowledges that memory, thinking, orientation, comprehension, calculation, learning capacity, language and judgment are all affected by dementia and that the accompanying conditions include impairment of cognitive function. Dementia impacts upon the brain of a person in a number of different ways. The person might remember who they are and who they are with, but not what it is that they are doing or indeed how to do it. Equally, they might be able to recall the functions of a particular task, 
but not the person they are engaged in the task with. They might be able to remember who they are with and what they are doing, but not who they themselves are, although this is less common. As the degeneration advances, all these outcomes become more enhanced and interchangeable. Eventually, the person loses the ability to communicate with those around them. They can no longer make their thoughts coherently understood, and those around them cannot deduce what their thoughts are, or the extent of the breadth and clarity of such thoughts. Consciousness is apparently not affected by dementia and Alzheimer's. This means, for example, that due to the inability of the language, thinking and memory capacities to function fully, a person with advanced Alzheimer's may not be able to articulate what is happening to them and how they are experiencing it, even though they may possibly be conscious of it.